We're here in Geneva with the 918 RSR, a hybrid race car development of a car that we saw last year, the 918 Spider. Uh, we're with Frank Valisa, who is project director for the vehicle. Uh, hello, Frank. Hi, good to see Hi. you. Hi, good to see you. Um, please, talk us through the development, show us the car. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. We can see here the latest of uh, Porsche's engineering knowledge, uh, considering hybrid technology. So we took over our experience and the parts of our uh, 911 GT3 R hybrid that was so successful in Nürburgring uh, by racing nearly 24 hours last year. We put the technology and put it in our latest uh, car that is uh, based on the 918 Spider. We made, I think, Michael Maurer with his team did a wonderful cube out of that. We trimmed it for, to have it suitable for racing and put the, the, the hybrid, so the flybrid system uh, and the two electric motors in the front in the car and added also the, the engine of the RS Spider, our LMP2 prototype from the American Le Mans series and successful Le Mans winner over the last years and merged everything in this brand new car here, shown as the 918 RSR. And the 918 Spider. Is that now, are we likely to see this? Are we going to see this in production? At the moment, it's, uh, as there is no technical regulations, we cannot raise it. There was one idea, of course, behind to, to show uh, the rule makers in the world that we think racing should be, should more of the, of the new technology available in street cars. And that is one effort to show how such a car could look like. We haven't decided uh, if we're going to race it or not. Well, that depends much on the racing series and how they attractive they are. But it also will put a little bit pressure in this uh, society showing how a race car like that could look like. Great. So um, can you just give us a guided tour around the vehicle yeah. and show us some of the technology? This time we start with the passenger side, as this is definitely the most interesting part of the car. As we have here, our flywheel, uh, that can store the energy that we gain while braking over the front uh, motors. Uh, we have a power of up to 120, depending on uh, how we use it, up to 150 kilowatts that can be stored. And uh, by accelerating, we can bring back the, the energy from this rotating part via these uh, wires and, and the power control units to the front motors and therefore we can accelerate the car with an additional 150 kilowatts for six up to eight seconds. That helps of course a lot in uh, increasing the, the racing power of the car and of course in saving fuel. And uh, we consider that during a 24 hour race we can save up to one f complete fuel filling and so we gain of course also time on the lap. Um, then we have uh, a, a pure racing cockpit, uh, driver orientated, putting all the things you need for professional racing in these cars. We have a new form of, of doors, uh, reminding a little bit to our 917. And uh, of course everything is based on a carbon fiber monocoque, the latest in racing technology, and then added the engine of the RS Spider, a 3.4 liter V8 uh, in combination with a six speed uh, gearbox. We saw the Spider last year. We saw the GT3 last year. How much of the technology here, or the, the chassis, is directly from the GT3? Or is this a brand new development? The chassis, everything, suspension is everything completely new. Nothing to do with the GT3, as we have here a carbon fiber car. Uh, this is mostly based on the 918 Spider that is now at the moment being made ready for, um, for the production. I notice there's uh, a fan on the back deck. Is that for show or function? It's, um, it started a little bit as a show by discussing with our engine uh, engineers. Uh, we sorted it out that it definitely will help uh, to cool down the engine bay and it helps to getting venting out the air. So show coming functional as we do it always with Porsche, it's function in there. There must be a reason for yeah, it to be, be there. Be, there's no show effect. We, there's, there's always a reason for technology behind. Okay, that's good. And as you say, the, the regulations stop you racing at the moment other than special prototype. It's, I think for the, for the whole racing uh, world it's new getting how to get the hybrid technology in, in racing considering of course that we, that we can use it, that, it's, that there's a benefit for racing and that there's a transfer 
from the know-how from race cars to street cars. And uh, as it's new, a lot of ideas are going, but I think, or we think, best is just do a car that helps you in learning to use the technology and also provide the, the race, um, the rule makers of the races with more background information how to make the technical regulations. I see Walter Earl's name on the side of the car. Um, is there a target time for the Nürburgring, no, or is this just purely it's, development? It's open. It's really development. Okay. Walter Earl is, of course, he's a, a member of, of my team in developing the 918 Spider, and uh, but we've really it's open what we what we're gonna do and considering racing. Everything to do. Everything to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh, Thank you for the time. Is it possible to open the back? No, okay. It cannot be opened. It's always no, nice to look inside, but yeah, yeah, I, know, I, <laughs> I know. must ask. We have to keep some secrets for the future. <laughs> so, some secrets, yes. Okay. Okay, thank you very thank much you. for You're your welcome. time.